expensive, high-end, and luxurious without spending a ton of money. Let's get started. I love creating luxe looking spaces that don't necessarily cost a lot of money. I hope this video will give you some ideas, some tips to make your home look the best possible way. One thing you can do in your space to make it look more luxurious is to add picture lights. It is such a small detail that really emphasizes the artwork on your walls. Picture lights are installed on your wall just like a sconce. They can be battery operated or hardwired. Currently, you can get such a variety in colors. It can be black, white, gold, the finishes, the style, the shape. Check out some of these. Whether you are a renter or a homeowner, this small detail will elevate your decor style. You can easily find a picture light that will go with your style. If you are modern, think about black. If you are traditional, think about gold, even transitional. Gold or black will work perfect with either one of those decor styles. Picture lights can be really fun. You don't always need to use them for pictures. You can use them to highlight a bookcase that you're using for your accent decor pieces. It would be perfect to highlight those. And they're so simple, especially with the battery operated picture lights that they currently have on the market. I've seen them over kitchen windows, you know, where you have those beautiful black iron kitchen windows, the ones that I want for my own home. Yes, I've seen them over kitchen windows. I've seen them over bookcases. Mirrors even have the picture lights. So it is an accent piece, a decor style that will definitely elevate anything that you highlight. One thing to note about luxury spaces, they always tend to have a large scale piece. Either it is an oversized sofa or it may be a console table behind the sofa. There tend to always be large pieces. Don't get me wrong, scale is super important. And even if your space is small, you can still have a large scale item to ground the entire section. One large scale item to balance the area or to ground a space. A large scale piece of furniture, it's super expensive. You can go to Restoration Hardware or uh, even at CB2, some of your large scale pieces are uber expensive. So this is a hat. You can take two smaller pieces, if it's a console table, or a server that you're looking for. Take two small pieces, put them together, and then they will serve as one large piece. You can take two smaller tables, place them together, and it becomes one large cocktail table. You've saved thousands of dollars and you've only spent maybe two, three hundred dollars per table. These are items that you may already have. If you have two nice size end tables, put them together and then you can make a long cocktail table. This is a great hack to save you thousands of dollars, lots of money, so that way you're able to stretch your budget, your decor budget to other items. Another type of table that you can use are nesting tables. I've taken smaller nesting tables. Sometimes you get them in three. I'll purchase two sets of nesting tables and that would give me six. Therefore, I'm placing it in front of the sofa and it completely gives an upscale element. It completely changes the decor. It pretty much goes from, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do to a cocktail table, to I know exactly what I'm trying to achieve 
and I love this look. If you're taking two square tables and placing them together, usually this works out perfect. Flat edges to flat edges. But again, the round nesting tables work as well. The element to the trick is to add more than three. Typically you see three nesting tables together. Can you imagine if you place six tables in that space, it would look dynamic. This tip is great for if you have a large room and your coffee table is too small. Place two, if or three, tables together and now you've got a piece that you would find in a furniture store for two or three thousand dollars and you probably only spent six hundred dollars. Thank me later. Curtains or draperies. Now, if your curtains are not hung right, we've talked about this before, they should be hung from the ceiling completely down to the floor. But if they're not hung right, or if you've chosen the wrong fabric, your curtains can make your space look extremely cheap or inexpensive. Contrary to that, choosing the right fabric, hanging the draperies correct, would actually elevate your space. I always say, no matter what, adding a pair of panels to any space elevates it and it makes it look expensive. It would make your decor look complete. Now, if your style is modern or if you're doing a monotype decor, no problem. Hang sheer drapes from the ceiling to the floor. It would be billow, it would be flowy, and it would keep very, it would keep movement throughout the room. If you have an ocean view property and you don't want to have drapes hanging everywhere, but you do need some sense of privacy, you can put sheer panels on either side and then place them on a motorized operating system and then they can open and close. I think that is a gorgeous look. If you're purchasing the drapery panels from retail, you're only gonna get a certain width. I think it's 80 by 36, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't purchase retail drapes. But if you are purchasing them, there is a certain set and there is a certain size. If you have a large window, consider doubling up or tripling. Meaning, if they're panels and they're too thin and they're gonna look very flimsy, place two pairs of panels together or three pair of panels on each side of the window. Automatic, this will elevate your style and it will allow that room to look uber expensive. This tip is inexpensive, but it's very impactful. Consider using some of Ikea pieces to elevate your style. Yes, Ikea pieces to elevate your style. One that I'm thinking about right now is the Billy bookcase. You can do so much with that particular bookcase system that they have. There's another video and it shows you exactly what you can do with Ikea pieces to elevate your space. Hopefully it's before this video, but if not, it's coming up really soon and you guys can take a look at that. People are painting these bookcases, adding different finishings to them to give it a more custom look. This, for the money, a custom bookcase is thousands of dollars, 10, 15 thousands of dollars, or a custom display. If you use this Billy bookcase system that Ikea has, you're gonna save tons of money, but more importantly, you're elevating the look in the room. Swapping out all of your switch plates and your outlet plates to a screwless is another way to elevate your style and make your home look expensive. Currently, in today's market, most model homes, you will see screwless cover plates, and it's just seamless. They're beautiful pieces. In a million dollar home, you will definitely see seamless plates. Take your time, because I'm not suggesting that you go out and buy a hundred cover plates, because that will add up. However, you can start room by room. Start in your kitchen, or you can start in your bedroom. Whatever room that you're currently working on to decor, consider adding the screwless plates. This next tip is a little pet peeve of mine. A little bit, maybe a lot. <laughs> if you guys are planning a kitchen renovation, 
plan on your cabinets going all the way up to the ceiling. I'm not sure where it started, maybe 20, maybe 22 years ago, builders started leaving the open space above cabinets. Initially, the style was so that I can put a charger up there or a plant. However, it's more cost effective for builders to leave that space open. So that's why they continued on with that practice, but we don't want to do that. So if you're planning for a kitchen renovation, plan on having your cabinets all the way up to the ceiling. It elongates the space. It makes your kitchen ceiling seem taller. It actually elevates the decor style to look more expensive. If you're not replacing your kitchen cabinets, um, but you're gonna repaint them, this is a great time. You can add a smaller cabinet above, just on top, similar to what I've done in this photo here. We just added cabinets on top and then stained the cabinets to match the existing because this client had stain. But in some of my other images, you'll see where we've just painted it out and none is the wiser. You cannot tell that you added cabinets on top of existing cabinets once it's all painted out. You will have a custom built look just by adding and filling in the gap above the cabinets. So if you're looking around your kitchen and wondering how you can elevate your space and make some changes, this small detail will definitely make your kitchen look more expensive. There are a few decor items that I can recommend to make your space look and feel more luxurious. And these are very, very simple. One would be an open coffee table book or a coffee table book. I like to leave one at least open. It is something that is so inviting and try to purchase oversized books. It's gorgeous. When you have company and someone walks, it's just an inviting to see an open book on top of a table. An open coffee table book will add color, like if you open it to a page that has tons of color or an accent color that you're working with in your space, it will add color into the room. Not only that, I like to put books around or have the books on the table because they can be inspiring. So if you do get a moment to sit down, have a cup of tea, go through your book, relax. Remember, we're creating our own utopia. Decor item number two, large and distinctive vases or vases or a sculpture. It will elevate a space. So let's say you're not into a bus. You don't have to be. You could find a large vase or two or three vases that are the right color. A white vase, if you're working with orange and you want to have a pop of color. Orange is a strong color, so you may not necessarily want to have orange drapes. You may consider orange vases. If you choose something, make it distinctive, a large. In this instance, go big or go home, it definitely works. You don't necessarily need to use three or two because the size and the shape of the vase is the decor moment. It speaks volumes, it speaks wow, and it increases the luxury factor. It elevates the room immediately. Lighting. Always consider lighting. Sometimes when we're designing a space and we're decorating, lighting is the last thing that we want to consider, but it's very important. Uh, soft lighting, table lighting, above lighting. Lighting plays a part in the way the room will actually feel. So if you want your home to feel expensive, luxurious, consider large light pieces a nice chandelier. And these are not expensive. You can get some of these things. I've seen them at Home Depot for a couple of hundred dollars. 
let's say you're purchasing an inexpensive light fixture, maybe two, three hundred dollars, but you want it to be impactful and you have vaulted ceilings, buy three. Place three light fixtures in a living room area over a conversation area or over the cocktail table. That says, wow. And you haven't spent thousands of dollars. Some of these oversized light fixtures will cost you upwards five, six, ten thousand dollars for a gorgeous light fixture. I've just given you a way where you can spend less than a thousand dollars and get the same luxurious impact. Last but not least, thrifting. One of the videos that I completed earlier this year and I found these two gorgeous chairs in my living room and I, they were oversized, they're designer chairs. I found them at a consignment store. So please, if you're in an area or if you're not in, a, in an area that would have great consignment stores, go ahead and take a Saturday day trip. Get with a girlfriend and you guys travel to a, another area or another consignment store that you think has great pieces. I found these pieces in Newport Beach at a consignment store and I clicked my heels. I was so happy to receive them. More importantly, they have elevated my living room space. Oftentimes, you will find items that people just wanna get rid of or give away. Chippendale, Thomasville, some really quality pieces that you may find even from a Paris flea market. When people are moving estate sales or yard sales, they just wanna get rid of things. They don't want to be able to transport them to the new home or to the new area. You can really find some great buys thrifting. Or there's another place, um, Facebook Marketplace. There's so many deals that people are getting on Facebook Marketplace for little or no funds at all. Little, little to nothing. I ran across a couple of pieces and they were free. The individual just wanted me to come and collect the pieces. I hope you've enjoyed the video and these tips are very helpful for you. Until next time, make every day a great day. If you like this video, hit that like button or subscribe. You will be notified each time there is a new upload.